Hello everyone, welcome to Barca News. It is March 6, 2024, and Barcelona are amongst the most valuable sports team in the entire world. Also, the club are very confident that they're about to land a major sponsor in the next few weeks. And finally, a new African talent has landed in the city of Barcelona in order to conduct his trial. We have a lot to discuss. So let's begin. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Mo and I just ended the Barca News live podcast about an hour ago where I discussed some pretty interesting news, including Barcelona reaching out to Mikel Arteta and Paulo Dybala offering himself to Barcelona. So if you haven't watched it yet, make sure to check it out. Now, having said that, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and drop a comment. All of this helps this channel continue to grow. Now, I'll begin with the news that Barcelona are amongst the most valuable sports team in the entire world. Now, Sportico has released its list of the most valuable sports team in the world. And let's look at that list because here we have in number one, the Dallas Cowboys, followed by the Garden State Warriors. We have the Lakers, the Yankees, the Giants, etc. And you keep working all your way down. And in number 13, we have our first football team, which is Manchester United in the 13th place. So Manchester United are the 13th most valuable sports team in the world or the most valuable football team in the world. And then you keep working your way down the list. And in number 19, we have Real Madrid, the second most valuable football team in the world or the 19th most valuable sports team in the world, uh, more valuable than the Boston Red Sox. And if you keep working your way down the list, there is FC Barcelona, in number 23 as the 23 most valuable sports team in the world or the third most valuable football team in the world. Now, this goes to the people who continue to say that Barcelona are finished, that they're done, they have too much debt, they're going to be closing the door soon. Well, here you have it. Despite all of the financial troubles that Barcelona are going through, they're still one of the most valuable uh, sports team in the world, the third most valuable football team in the world, right behind Real Madrid and Manchester United, which I was very surprised to see Manchester United still holding on to first place. They've been in first place for a very long time, despite struggling in uh, recent years. So that just goes to show how powerful it is when you build a strong brand. And I think that's one thing you can't take away from FC Barcelona, which is the Barcelona brand which is an international, highly recognized brand, which again, no matter how bad our club is doing financially or sporting-wise, they are still one of the most valuable football team, one of the most valuable sports team in the entire world. Now, speaking of value, of money, of revenue, etc., cetera, that Barcelona are highly confident that they will be able to land a major sponsor in the next few weeks now you guys might recall all those trips that John Laporta made to the Middle East right before Christmas around December in fact yeah I think he missed even a few Christmas days with his family because he was consistently making these trips to the Middle East he was seen several times in Saudi Arabia he was seen in Dubai he was seen in Abu Dhabi he was seen in Qatar but Laporta was making those several trips to the Middle East in order to look for new investors investors so they can become Barcelona's new sponsors, also investors for the Barca Vision economic clever, since we all know Libero did not pay the 40 million euros for the Barca Vision shares that they bought. So Barcelona were also looking for new investors to buy those shares from Libero and pay Barcelona the 40 million euros that they're owed. And while it seems that these trips have paid off because Barcelona are highly confident that they will be able to land a major sponsor in the next few weeks. This is all part of the initiative that Laporta and his board of directors have taken on, where they are looking to increase the club's revenues through sponsors. This is something that Laporta and his board have been really good at. In fact, they have set a record for the most uh, new sponsors signed. They have signed a total of 28 new sponsors. And it seems that now Barcelona are in the verge of signing yet another sponsor. This one is reportedly really big, and Barcelona are still working 
on finding a new investor for Libido. It's reported that Barcelona are in talks with several investors. I have yet to close that deal. So it seems that Barcelona are looking to make some pretty decent amount of cash in the next few weeks or months, which of course will help Barcelona in the summer transfer market. Now, speaking of transfer markets, speaking of signing players, as you guys might recall, Ibrahim Diarra had arrived in Barcelona in order to train with the academy teams, kind of like a trial phase thing. And it seems that Ibrahim Diarra really impressed Barcelona. He had already arrived with very high expectations, given how impressive he was in the under-17 World Cup, leading Mali all the way to third place. And despite having really high expectations set on him, Ibrahim Diarra was able to not only meet, but completely blow all those expectations out of the water with Barcelona left incredibly happy with the Malian 17-year-old right winger. But unfortunately, Ibrahim Diarra will not turn 18 until December, so Barcelona cannot officially sign him until then. But it's reported that Deco is looking for a way or a solution for Barcelona to sign Diarra before then. Because again, Barcelona were left incredibly impressed with the Malayan talent. Well, now it's being reported that a new African young talent has landed in the city of Barcelona to train with the academy teams. And that player is David Oduro, a 17-year-old left back who hails from Ghana. He is a permanent or he has become a permanent fixture of Accra Lions, which is his current team. He has he has reportedly has a lot of potential, very impressive young players. Player, it's reported that he has a lot of qualities like Alfonso Davis. Um, they have he has been likened a lot to Alfonso Davis. And in fact, he just finished a three-week trial at Chelsea, where he reportedly completely impressed everyone there at the London based club. And now David Oduro has landed in Barcelona in order to do his trial at the Blaurana Club. So we'll see what the Barcelona coaches say about him. Now, unlike Ibrahim Diarra, who won't turn 18 until the end of this year, David Oduro will turn 18 during June. So if Barcelona are highly impressed with him, they would actually be able to move to, for him or to try to sign him during this summer transfer market now speaking of the summer transfer market as I reported before deco or barcelona have already made their final decision on who will be barcelona's first signing and of course that's Aleix garcia who barcelona did try to sign during the winter transfer market but the player was unwilling to leave girona halfway through the season he didn't want to leave his current club hanging so instead barcelona will be making a move for him during a summer transfer market, now, Alex Garcia three months ago made a statement that really angered Girona where he said that it's his dream to play for Barcelona. Of course, Girona were not too happy about those statements, but now Alex Garcia has once again doubled down on those statements in the recent interview that he gave to Gigantes. Now, this is what Alex Garcia had to say. I don't regret having spoken well about Barca, but about the moment and the ways. In the end, I'm very transparent. And sometimes I've talked about it with other colleagues. Why can't we be transparent? I would like to play for Barca. It's the club I've followed since I was a kid. And the one I've always liked. So Alej Garcia doubling down on his statements, saying that he would love to play for Barca and that he doesn't understand why people got mad at him, that players should be allowed to be transparent. So in other words, Alej Garcia is almost giving Barcelona his address, telling them, hey, this is where I live. Please come pick me up because I'm dying to play for you. But don't worry, Aleix, Barcelona have already made the decision to make you your fir their first signing in the summer transfer market. So that's most likely what's going to happen in the summer. Anyways, that is all for this video. I will be uploading a third video tonight, so be on the lookout for that. Thank you for watching. Make sure to hit the like button, drop a comment, and subscribe to the channel. And as always, bis Barça.